What's up guys, Sean here. So today is a super exciting day. Um, they just released last week the new Paradinafi firmware. Um, and we're not gonna test out everything today in the firmware, but the thing that we're gonna test out is panorama mode. This is something that I've been waiting for for 10 years. Um, I used to make um, tiny planets back in the day with my digital SLR camera. Um, you know, I'd take 12 images times four, so I'd take about 48 images of a landscape and then I'd stitch it all together in the computer. Um, and then fast forward to about a year ago, all of a sudden they added it to every drone I had. But the problem with all the drones that I had is that none of them pointed up. And then the Paradinafi came out and all of a sudden I can point up. So I picked a day. This weekend was crappy. This weekend it was all cold and wet and wintry. But today it's still cold, very cold. But we have somewhat of a blue sky and clouds. And I wanted to do this on a day that had blue skies with some clouds so you can see some variants. Um, Cause it's pretty, I've been taking pictures with my DJI drones um, and I've been faking the sky and it's pretty easy. So I've been picking days that had a solid sky, no clouds. Um, but today is a whole new day. Um, we're gonna do this in HD today because I'm recording with the Insta360 ONE X and I thought it would be pretty fun to do, um, you know, use a 360 camera since we're talking about a 360 degree panorama, okay? So, and I think I'm gonna release this in 360 mode as well as regular rectangular mode. And then I'm gonna do a desktop version and a mobile phone version because this workflow is meant to, to work out on mobile phone. And for quick pictures, I think it'll work because I did it over the weekend and the stitch was pretty good on the Parrot, just in the Parrot app. So we're gonna do that, but we're also gonna do it on the desktop and use the images from the, desk, from the camera on the drone to do an even better job, okay? So you guys ready to do this? I don't know what this, what this video is gonna look like, guys, but we're just having a blast on my channel, all right? We're gonna have a good time. I'm sure we'll get some comments. Hey, that's weird. Why is that guy doing that? Hey, he says I'm too much. But you know what, guys? My channel, I can do whatever I want to. That's what's the beauty of it being my channel. So um, we're gonna go on an adventure. I don't even know where we're gonna go, guys. But I think we're gonna get on the road and we're gonna go down the street um, and maybe find a really cool place um, to take a take a picture. So, yeah, I work right over there. So this is a Segway adventure. spot um, we've got kind of a cool cul-de-sac going on here we've got different like kind of a Times Square type building over here we've got a college over here not sure what happens in that building but I think it's been going to be a pretty cool shot so the plan is um, back in the day when I had the Parrot Bebop 2 and the original Parrot Bebop I had this application it's called Bebop 360 um, and I used to take 360 images with that, but they put a um, limiter in there so you couldn't take a picture below a height of 20 feet, I believe. So 
what we're going to do today is we're going to take a picture um, at different heights and we're going to just see how long it takes to take the video guys so we're going to go into flight set panorama mode so how you do it guys is you go into make sure that you're in camera mode right here so that's video mode and that's camera mode and under photo mode you've got bracketing burst single we're going to go to panorama and in panorama you can either do a vertical horizontal or 360. we're going to do 360 because that's where the money is guys that's something that this drone can do that no other drone can do right now all right <clears throat> I'm going to select the style to natural um, and JPEG rectangular is the only option here. So um, it's not going to do a DNG for you. It's not going to do a raw, but check it out, guys. You can see the histogram over there, um, which is pretty sweet. Um, got everything set to auto, um, auto exposure lock. I want to turn that off. Well, we're just going to go auto right now. We're just going to test this out. Okay. So these are my settings. Take a look. Gander. Gander. All right. So let's just get out here. And let's get off the ground, guys. All right, guys. So it's kind of a rule of thumb. When you're, when you're doing a 360 image, you want to look down and you want to see what your, um, what your subject's going to look like. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up until we can see the whole cul-de-sac and then we're going to get in the center of it. All right, guys, so I think that's pretty good. We're gonna move over to the middle. Um, and I think we're gonna be off to the edge of it a little bit. So we're gonna do that. I think that'll be pretty cool, guys. So I'm gonna touch I'm going to go in here. I'm going to touch the ground, right, guys? Let's just do it. Here we go, guys. It went on blurry for a second. That's weird. Whoa, it's taking a picture of the sky. It's awesome. All right, so it's giving you a nice flash to let you know something's happening. Ooh, I think this is gonna be a good one, guys. That building looks pretty good. Oh, uh, we got moving vehicles. Hopefully there won't be a moving vehicle under the drone. They're kind of off to offset to the side. So, ooh, that building looks cool. Glad I did that. All right. So what you'll notice is we've got blue skies, but we also have a bunch of white clouds. Um, there's birds in the sky. So, I'll be anxious to see what's going on here, guys. Um, but I took my, all of my colors off of the ground, so hopefully all that will lock in. And, ooh, that building looks good too. Check that out, guys. Guys, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, ever since I was a little boy, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but I've been wanting to do 360, like full on 360 spheres from a drone ever since I got into flying drones. Um, Cause I've been into 360 photography for a long time and I've been into three, I've been into drones for a while. Um, and I thought 360 fly was coming out with a 360 drone, but I don't think that ended up panning out. But this drone right here, the Peridonafi, is the best thing right now in taking 360 photos. Um, so, super Oh, there I am. Hey, what up? Dang it, I should have hid, hid behind the block.
Oh, something I forgot to show you guys is the how many pictures it takes and the, the status bar. So we're gonna do another one. Um, we're on picture 40. All right, guys. So that one's done. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, since that was 60 feet up, about 59 feet up, now we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up to 120 feet, since we've got enough battery for it. Super windy out here too, guys, so I'll be anxious to see how this pans out. Actually, I think my geofence is not set to 160. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, we're at the geofence. 154. So now what we're gonna do, oh, we're losing signal. We're gonna come back down a little bit. We're gonna to go to about there, 135. All right guys, so this time we're gonna watch it and I want you guys to just see what happens. So when I hit uh, the button, it says um, there's a little um, progress bar on the bottom of the screen that shows you the progress of your 360 degree photo. Um, and this is all we're gonna to do today. It's pretty cold out. So I just wanted to get a couple good images and by the looks of the pictures that I'm taking on the screen, it looks super good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get right next to this big metal box. Ooh, that building looks good. Check that out, guys. We got good signal, so I think we're good. Two ladies walking around down there. Ah, oh, I, I think these buildings are gonna look really good from that height, guys. I think 135, maybe 100 feet is a good sweet spot for some of these smaller buildings. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go, um, we're gonna speed this up so we can get into the mobile phone and stitch the panoramas. Um, I'm just gonna do one. Um, but I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, my smartphone was about to die. So um, I was able to get the, the panorama done, um, but I quickly brought it to the ground um, after I was done taking the picture. All right, guys, so now we're going to click on the gallery. Um, as you can see, these are the two panoramas that I um, took pictures of today. So we're just going to click on one um, and we're going to download. And uh, I'm going to speed this up so we can download it pretty quick. But as you can see, um, right now I haven't sped it up yet and it's downloading pretty quick. So um, I'm going to speed this up real quick. Okay guys, once the file is downloaded, you're asked a question whether you want to keep the files or not. Um, I, I always do. We're going to hit create. Um, on create you've got sphere, little planet, and tunnel. We're going to do sphere and we're going to do excellent quality. Um, and this is real time creating the sphere. As you can see it creates the sphere pretty fast. So once you've downloaded the images um, it's basically just going through logarithms and um, you know stitching. Um, since it took the pictures and it's stitching um, it kind of knows where the pictures go. Um, so I have a feeling that's why the process is so fast. But um, once this sphere is created, we're going to get this hopefully a beautiful sphere. <laughs> now what a sphere is going to do, um, this is kind of backwards when you're thinking um, DJI. When you, like those of you that have DJI drones, when you do a sphere, you're actually doing a tiny planet. 
And what this sphere is actually referring to is a 360 degree ball that's been flattened out. Okay, so this is something you would um, upload to a VR website or um, you can put it on YouTube, Facebook, and uh, you can view it in a VR headset or on a smartphone and just kind of move the phone around and look around. Um, very cool. I've got several VR headsets that um, it just looks awesome in. Um, and what we're going to do once this is done is we're going to just save it to our photo gallery. Um, but it looks like it's done. Oh, check it out, guys. So you could only get about two thirds of that um, with with all the other drones that are out there. So we're going to go. We're going to save the image. All right. So now that we have the sphere, let's try out. Um, tiny planet or little planet. So we're going to go to little planet. Excellent quality again. Um, and then we're going to render it out. Um, and this seems to be going pretty good, pretty fast, too, guys. It's already at 14%. I mean, it's, it's counting fast. So, oh wow, big jump there. 32. All right. So this is going pretty fast. Um, little planet, um, tiny planet, asteroid, every camera company um, and drone manufacturer call these different things. Um, this is what DJI drones call a sphere. But I just want to reiterate, this is actually a sphere. Um, a lot of the, the other drones, I have a unique Typhoon H plus that um, it shoots a 360 panorama but it's really a bowl um, same with my DJI drones um, it's really a bowl it's not a full sphere whereas this one since the camera can point up um, it's rendering a complete sphere which again guys just makes me excited <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I might be the only guy on the planet that's super excited about this functionality, but I've been wanting this functionality for so long. Um, you know, I've almost crashed drones because I've attached 360 cameras to it. So now that I can actually take a 360 full on sphere with the native software from the drone, I don't have to, you know, break my warranty or do anything crazy like that I can actually just take a picture of the sphere um, it's awesome guys so this was going by quick but now it's going slow so I think we're gonna speed up the rest of this Wow, guys, that looks nice. And look how much of the sky it left us. So we've got a lot of room to work with. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna take the tiny planet. Um, well, this is, we're taking the sphere and I've got it in the final cut and I just wanna zoom in and show you guys the quality of this image. Um, this was taken with 44 images um, and just check out that detail, guys. So um, we're gonna zoom in and then we're going to move up so that you can kind of see what types of images you can pull out of this panorama. Um, so as the world turns, we're just going to have some fun with this tiny planet. And uh, we're going to close the video here, guys. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, this is kind of one of my favorite things to do with the drone. And now that I can take pictures of the sky, I'm going to be doing a lot more. So please like, subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos on the Paradinafi. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.